Louise, please, this must stop. Oh, handle this, Mama. I am so sorry, Pilar. It is I who am sorry. I should have come up to you the minute you walked into my home. It's my fault. It's not no, your Pilar, fault. It's her it's fault. His fault. What's going on, Sheridan? Is it true he kissed you? Yes, Ethan, but... That's it. I've had it. Come, come on. on. That's not necessary, no. Mr. Crane. Oh, Chief Bennett. Amazing. You just stood there and watched one of your officers assault my I aunt. Just, hey, on. Both of you, calm down right now. This is between me and Luis. Back up, Crane. All right, stop it, both of you. I've been waiting for this a long time. Come on, calm down. Come on, calm no. down. I'm not letting him get away with this, Sheridan. Look, it was a simple misunderstanding. Officer Lopez Fitzgerald was blindfolded. He didn't even know who he was kissing. It was a surprise to both of us. Are you sure that's what happened? Still couldn't have been pleasant for you. Let's get out of here. I'm sure Pilar will understand. I want both of them out of here now. No, Luis. They are our guests. I hope that you two can stay and enjoy the party my children have made for me. We just came by to drop off a Sheridan's present for you, Pilar. Ethan put it in the living room. Happy birthday, Pilar. Thank you, Sheridan. I hope that you and Ethan can stay. It would really mean a lot to me. I, I would feel terrible if you left right now. We'll be glad to stay a little while, Pilar. Wonderful. Don't worry, Ethan. I'll stay far away from Luis. You better stay away from you, too, if he knows what's good for him. Excuse me, Pilar. Can you tell me where the bathroom is? I, I got some stuff in my jacket I want to wipe off. It's inside. Just a second door on the right. Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald, Sandlot Baseball Player of the Year. You must be really good. I'm okay. Uh, I'd love to watch you play sometime, but... I guess I won't be able to. You could if you could convince your mom to move to Harmony. I'd hit home runs just for you. Uh, Miguel, I don't want this day to ever end. I feel like Cinderella at the ball. And when the clock strikes... Uh, don't think about that. Think about now. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's almost like time is standing still so this day can go on forever. We wouldn't have to move if my mom could just find her twin sister. I wish Mrs. Bennett would get here. I think she can help us. She knows everyone. Wait a minute. Why didn't I think of this before? What, Miguel? My brother. He's a cop here in Harmony. Maybe he can help us find your mom's twin. Do you think you could convince her to stay a while longer? Mm, I don't think so, Miguel. She's made up her mind. She wants us to move first thing in the morning. 